Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something that I find pretty exciting, which is another plan with me. But with this plan with me, I've got my first ever actual stickers. And I call them my first ever because this is the first time I've printed something on sticker paper. So these are the stickers that I'm going to be using today. I put this sticker set together um, for myself and if you like these stickers or you know you can just print them out on regular paper too. If you're interested in getting these I will be uploading them to my Patreon so you can get these under the one dollar tier if you're interested. So this is what we are going to be using for my weekly spread in my Loistrum bullet journal today. So we're just going to open it up and dive right in. Alrighty. I was so nervous to print on my printer paper or my computer, oh, gosh, what is this, sticker paper? Because honestly, I'm super frugal and I don't like wasting things. But today I was like, you know what? I bought this for a reason. I need to just do it. So I printed these out and I am so happy with them. I could definitely use sharper scissors. These are old. I don't even know where these came from. That is not even. I cannot cut straight, obviously. Not perfect, but oh well. Doesn't have to be perfect. I've really, um, gosh, like I, I feel like lately I have been doing so much better in terms of like perfectionism, believing in myself, having a bit more confidence. Like it has been so amazing. It's been feeling really good. Um, but I guess what I was going to say that has to do with that is that if you want to start a journal, man, just start a journal. Like it does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be anything except exactly what you need and what you want it to be. Oh, this is going to be cute up here. Oh my gosh. Now comes peeling it off. Oh, and in other bullet journal journaling news, Greg has decided to get a journal. He, uh, he ordered himself a couple of dotted journals um, from Barnes & Noble, and those should be getting here this week. And I'm very excited to see what his process will be with his journals because I, that is so sideways, it's okay. Um, I truly think that many, many people can benefit from the use of a journal, pen and paper, like something right in front of you to keep track of your life, you know, and not just keep track of your life, but to remember it. I absolutely love pulling out my old bullet journal. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, I printed it upside down, you guys. That sucks. It's supposed to print on this side, not that side. What do I do? Oh well, this has literally no sticky on it. This is sticky. God damn it. Oh, I'm angry at myself. Oh, I'm angry at myself. Oh, I'm angry at myself. I don't care. I'm just going to use this anyway. This is freaking wasted. It would have been awesome to put a sticker down, wouldn't it? But nope. All right. I printed it the wrong direction. I printed it the wrong direction. So now, so now I'm going to have to use stuff to stick this down. That's a bummer, you guys. I was seriously so looking forward to using my stickers, but I don't really want to waste the ink. So I'm going to stop whining. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to stop whining and I'm going to get my tape out because sometimes this happens. You just got to go with it. Can't believe, I mean, I can, I can believe that I printed it the wrong direction because that's something that I would do. Obviously, this is what I mean by it's not always perfect but I'm still enjoying, like I'm still very happy with these designs that I put together, so. Oh, and a winner was selected for the planner giveaway and she did contact me, um, but thank you everybody. Thank you everybody that decided to participate, uh, but the winner has been selected and I will be sending that out tomorrow probably on Monday. Every time I peel this off now, I feel like I'm gonna be slightly sad because I know that I printed the wrong direction. This is such, like, this is such a thing I would do, honestly. It really is. This is totally me. Like, making mistakes like this, totally me. I am what you might call a derp. That is, like, my nickname, derp. Because I derp all the time. It's just what I do. Maybe we should talk about writing stuff, because, you know, this is supposed to be an AuthorTube channel, and I haven't made writing videos in a while, because the writing is going very slow. But I think I might finish the book this week. 
I, if not this week, next week, but I really want to finish it and give myself time to quickly read over it before Camp Nano begins, because I am participating in Camp NaNoWriMo this year. So now we have to do my accomplishments, struggles, and lessons that I learned. And then while that's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of outline my Daily Doodles page. I really like having color in my bullet journal. That's another reason why I'm kind of um, enjoying doing these doodles now, is because it's nice to kind of flip to a page and see color on it, rather than just like, I mean, that page was colorful. I mean, most of my pages now are colorful, just because, like I said, I do enjoy seeing color. So first things first, under struggles, let's write, let's write the struggle that I just had, shall we? Printed my stickers backward. Lesson learned. Check direction of paper before printing. <laughs> uh, this is how we learn and grow, folks. We make silly mistakes, and then we learn to not make them again. Or sometimes if you're me, maybe you do make them again. It, it happens. Some accomplishments this week include picking out my engagement ring. That was really exciting. A struggle, um, writing. I have been struggling to write. I think I wrote, how many wrote words did I write this week? 6, 11, 7, 24. So I probably wrote about 26, 2700 words this week, which is really slow for me personally, but this is part of the process. Some, you know, we have to accept that create creativity kind of ebbs and flows and it's not always going to be the same. So even though I'm struggling right now to write, I, I do totally trust and believe that I will get my mojo back. <laughs> and you know, I wrote four days this week. I wrote, um, what did I write? Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday I wrote. Let's see, an accomplishment this week, I went to the gym. It's always an accomplishment to get to the gym. And another accomplishment is that Greg decided to get his own journal. And it's not really an accomplishment, but I'm happy about it. So I wanna make a note about that. So a lesson learned from, you know, how slow and difficult the writing has been, I'm gonna say the process is always changing or ever changing. So I wrote, uh, the process is ever changing, appreciate the journey. Because even though I am writing slow right now, and I say that in air quotes because Everybody writes at different speeds and different paces. This is just a bit slow for me personally. But I know that sometimes I write fast, sometimes I write slow, sometimes I take time off. It's just always going to change and that's okay. That's just fine. So there you have it. That's a pretty page. I am tempted to complain again about printing these stickers backward, but you know, Maybe I'll just turn the page and actually get into my weekly spread, shall I? Here we go. But now, now I have to cut the rest of these out knowing that they are not gonna stick the right way. And that's annoying, but let's do it anyway because I'm gonna follow through. I'm gonna follow through. I should have known, I should have known. Anyway, maybe if you're a journaler, you can tell me in the comments below what some of your big journaling mistakes have been, kind of like this one that I made, printing my stickers backward. Because I know that we all make mistakes. I know that we do. Don't try to tell me otherwise. I wish this sticker would work, but I know it won't because I messed it up. Oh well, oh well, oh well. It's always so hard picking up all the pieces after I cut something out like this. That's like one of the hardest parts of cleanup. Oh, also I wanna mention, um, Brooke, Mandy, and I do have a live stream coming up on the 23rd. Uh, that's this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, if you wanna join us. I'll be there. Mandy will be there, as long as her uh, electricity is working. I think it was at our light last live stream that uh, a tree had fallen or something on an electrical, electrical line, so she wasn't there. There, that's good enough. Wow, what a mess. Oh, so we'll all be there hanging out, having fun. I would love for you to join us. And I believe that's on Mandy's channel, but don't quote me on that, but I think it is, because it was on my channel last time. Oh, and I'd also like to know, do you guys know of any other like journalers that actually like talk and chat and hang out and like actually talk about things while they're journaling? Because I've been trying to find people to like listen to, 
But I find that a lot of the journalers I find, they just will talk about like, now I'm using this sticker. Now I'm using this sticker. And it's like, well, I see the sticker you're using. You know, I don't really care about the sticker you're using. I care to know about your life and like what you're doing, what you're up to. So if you guys know of any uh, journalers that are like super casual and just like to chat and hang out and talk about things, please let me know down below in the comments because I'd like to give them a follow. I'm feeling the urge to start whining again about printing these backwards. Oh, I'm so angry about it. Oh well. Next time, I will not make that mistake again. I can tell you that for sure. I will not make that mistake again. Absolutely not. But hey, if you guys decide to get these stickers off my, or these printables off my Patreon, maybe you can print them on sticker paper and print it the right direction. And if you just have a normal printer at home, you can just get basic sticker paper. Like I just got a super cheap basic printer and it's beautiful. Like look at how beautiful these colors are. And I just got like 12 sheets, I think, of sticker paper. So you can totally print these on sticker paper at home. Just make sure to, you know, load it into the printer the correct direction, unlike me. I'm all over the place right now. Don't know why, just am. Oh, so my, uh, my cover design for book two, Pistol Daisy book two is like pretty much done, you guys. I, uh, I got the invoice and they're just waiting for me to uh, tell them the final size of the paperback, which of course I don't know yet because lo and behold, I have not even finished the first draft. Oh well. I'm hoping to finish it this week though, so that'd be great. But then of course I still can't tell them what the length is because I have to edit it and send it through betas and edit it again and edit it again and edit it again and format it and then proofread it and then boom. Then I can tell them the page count, so that'll take a while. But they are very friendly and patient and lovely, so I don't think they'll have any problem with that. Now that I've been cutting paper for half of my lifetime, maybe we can move on. Oh, and of course, I didn't even cut out my favorite, this beautiful bird watercolor. And I did not draw this. I didn't draw any of these things. Um, the way that I'm getting these is I'm actually buying them and paying to use them. So I do have legal use of all this artwork. I'm allowed to use it in any way that I want, commercial or otherwise, but I did have to pay for it. So that's where this is coming from. In case anybody was wondering why this is so beautiful and my doodles were not quite, you know. Oh, I've also been listening to some new podcasts lately. Um, none on like writing. Well, I like to listen to Ryan Medina's writing podcast, um, the indie writer podcast. Uh, his is my favorite that I listen to. I don't really listen to any other podcasts, honestly. Um, so if you have any good writing podcasts that you listen to, let me know uh, in the comments down below so I can give them a listen. I've been listening to stuff on like... Apple Podcasts a lot, and I really enjoy that. I don't have a radio in my car because it got stolen when my car got stolen years ago, when it was my sister's still, um, and they stole the radio out of it. Look how cute that is. Oh, if only it was a freaking sticker. <sighs> Calm. Where should I put this really pretty bird? I don't know. And I'm gonna put the tape on the back of this one instead of the sides, because I don't want to damage it in any way. You know, why have I even been peeling them? What am I doing? Like, why am I peeling the back off if it's not even gonna stick? Please, somebody tell me why I've been derping it so hard during this plan with me, because I don't really know. Also, there's easier ways to do this. I used to have double-sided tape that came out of this cool little rolly thing, but guess what? I ran out of it, like, a year ago maybe less than a year ago, maybe like six months ago, maybe like eight months ago, who knows. And I never got any new stuff. Oh, I ran out of it in November because I haven't had it at all for this bullet journal. So I haven't had that double-sided tape stuff since November. And I keep thinking, hey, maybe I should just stop by Hobby Lobby real fast. I'm over here all the time. Just swing in there and get some tape. And guess what? I never do. Don't know why, but I never do. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it right smack dab in the center. Oh, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. Even though I messed it up, it's still beautiful. Look at that. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you guys remember, if you want this uh, set of printables slash stickers, it's just $1 on my Patreon to get them, if you'd like. And I also put the strawberry stuff on there too. So that's free to you to use. Also, I will, um, like I mentioned, I am participating in Camp NaNoWriMo. I have a cabin, which the cabin is so awesome and they talk so much that honestly, I just like am silenced by their exuberance in the chat, <laughs> which is like, I'm totally fine with. That's totally cool. Um, so it's cool. It's gonna be like a really active cabin this time around, which I'm looking forward to. This is pretty cool, putting these little feathers up it, right? I like it. So yeah, I am gonna be in Camp Nano. I'm gonna be doing an entire Camp Nano where I'm a bullet journal spread. Um, I'm gonna do that for July. It's gonna be like a July theme will be Camp Nano, at least for the first week until I get sick and tired of that color scheme because not my favorite color scheme, to tell you the truth. The like yellow, brown, and blue. Not a big fan of that, but you know, I'm gonna go for it for the first week and such. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Rub it down, okay. Where's the other one? There it is, hide and seek. So I'm very excited for Camp Nano. I am planning to use Camp Nano Rimo to edit uh, WC. I still haven't released the name. There have been some great guesses um, about what the name is. I think my favorite guess was Wild Country. I want to say Amanda Kiefer Dunn guessed that from the Dunn Creative, but I'm not certain. But I think that was her guess, and I loved it. Um, that was not the title of the book, but I do love that guess. And look at that. Didn't space them out correctly, because obviously, why would I? Why would I space them correctly? Who cares? Let's just do this and that. It's still gonna be cute. It doesn't have to be perfect, remember everyone. I feel like when I watch bullet journal videos now versus when I first started watching them, I kind of try to find the bullet journal videos that have fewer views, fewer subscribers, like not the perfect, you know, glorious aesthetic setup because that's just not really me. I mean, I've been making videos for years now and I still am learning and I think we all continue to learn and not everything is always aesthetic and beautiful and la 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 la. Great, that's still sticky. So I really enjoy finding channels, like especially bullet journal channels that are not afraid of messing up and they're not perfect and they just kind of go with the flow. So there's that. This is gorgeous, that is gorgeous. How can I use this? Ooh, oh my goodness. Maybe I should tape that whole darn thing under there. What do you think? That is beautiful. Like I'm hesitant to even do like a to-do list. Oh my gosh, what can I do here? How can I make this work? I could make this like a to-do list, but then it's gonna cover that up, you know? It's just so beautiful. Hmm. Maybe I could, how could I do this? Could I somehow like put another thing in here? I've seen other people like take pages from the back and move them right here. Cause this is just so beautiful, but maybe a little much at the same time. Like I have so much beautiful stuff here. Maybe I don't need all of this because this is a little hard to write on. Like it's just so colorful and textured that writing on it, it's not gonna show up very clearly. And I don't really want to conceal the artwork because the artwork is just so beautiful. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could potentially do something like that and then put like a sticker box over it maybe. Granted, I've got a lot of shit to do. I'll tell you what, like it's not all gonna fit in a sticker box like that. I need a big sticker box, big sticker box. Like these are so tiny. How do you write in those? I have so many things to do. I can't write it just in that little box. Hmm. I'm trying to take inspiration from like the the planners, the planner women, planner people, not just women, but planner people that um, do like Erin Condren planning and stuff. Like, and they layer stickers because I love that. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put this important sticker here because 
I have a call tomorrow on Monday morning with my mentor, my mentor for my new job. I have a call with her at 9 a.m. That could easily be my meals, my meal tracker. The only tough thing about these stickers is that they're glossy and this pen does not work well on glossy. Like it has to totally dry first or else it'll just come right off. So that's kind of rough. That's cute for like a to-do list. That's cute. But how do I write over it? That's the question. Like I need a box. And of course I cut up all the sticker paper. I guess I could technically peel this off and then use that as a box. You know what I mean? But what would that look like if like, you know, part of this was concealed with white? Oh, it'd still be pretty, I think. I think it'd still be gorgeous. What am I doing? I don't know. This is how it goes. Or do I just save this? Or do I layer it? What do I do? I feel like maybe I should save this one. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Like, there's so much depth to it with the little birds that maybe I should save this one for like another spread because I always like, I have a tendency to add extra pages, you know, like adding my social media detox and adding my dream tracker. So I'm sure I'm going to be able to use these for other pages. So maybe I'll go ahead and save this one and go ahead and tuck that into my little compartment back here. There we go, that's tucked safely away. Is there anything in here I can use? This is so darn cute. I think I'm gonna just put it there. I think I'm just gonna go for it because I love how it looks. Like I, I really love the layered look that the, the people that do like sticker planning, like the way that that turns out. So I'm trying to use kind of like mixed media in a way. Also, I'm gonna be doing a video with a Fomemo printer. It's like a little thermal printer and it like prints stuff out on sticky paper, like black and white photos. And I think it's gonna be super cute. So I think they're shipping my Fomemo printer on Monday and I'm gonna have a coupon code for you guys and everything. So I'm excited to use that in an upcoming spread. Oh, that's beautiful. I really like how this turned out. So maybe like I'm grateful that this wasn't a sticker stuck down because I was able to slide this under it. And this is still like front and center here. So that's really nice. I do wish I had more uh, feathers to like put over here, but that's okay. I can always print them out again. And that's the other thing that if you get this on my page, you can print these out as many times as you want. No problem. Let's use some stickers, because why not? I never use these and I want to. I can cut this out and use it as a sticker. Gosh darn it. All right, we're gonna see how this sticker actually works. Because this one I drew on the correct side. Do you imagine that? Meals, there we go. That's kind of cute. I like how this is turning out. And I guess I could right there. Cause I don't really want to put like paper down, you know? That'll look kind of funny. So we're just going to put meals there. And a reminder to be you. It's something I'm working on a lot. Value, self-worth. That's all stuff that I'm working to cultivate more and more. Note, this is going to be like my to-do. It's going to say note, but it's my to-do list because, you know, because. I'm also going to put down this little email thing because I have some people that I need to email this week. A lot of people actually. So they can go right here, all the people I need to email. For example, where's my pen? Don't know. It's just gone. It's just gone. Where'd you go? I'm going to find you. There you are. I need to email. I need to water my plants on Tuesday. I wonder if there's a cute little like plant sticker that I could use. Is this fun using like lots of stickers and stuff? Does that look cute to layer them? Yeah, I think so. I like that full layered look. I'm playing around with it more here. Cool, cool, okay, there's that. I still need to water my plants on Tuesday. Put a little flower sticker there to remind me that I need to water the plants and clean the bathroom. And then down here on Sunday, we have a live stream. This is fun using stickers. I never use this many stickers. So I said live stream at 10 because I'm mountain standard time. So that's what time my live stream, that's what time I have to get on the live stream essentially. Um, so there's that. And then I also have counseling this day at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna put it up here. 
Tomorrow I want to ship the planner to Amber. Let's see, what else do I need to do? Oh, of course, pet care. Here, Mew, please don't rip that, stop it. Of course, Mew likes to rip things up, but Cat doesn't. So I'm just going through and kind of filling out the pet sitting that I have to do. And there's more, but I'm not sure exactly what days I need to do it, so I'll need to check. I'll need to double check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I have pet care here, here, and other places. Can't remember though, so I'll fill that in later. That's that's one of the most important things, though, that call tomorrow with my mentor. I keep thinking about that because I know that that's important. Um, what else? So over here under notes, I'm going to say coaching chapters because, again, I am studying to become a wellness coach. And I'm trying to get back to completing two chapters a week. One and two. Okay. So I need to post a special Patreon video. It's a patron, patrons only Q&A because I'm going to be doing live streams with my um, coaching patrons, but I feel like there's still so few of us that if I got on a live stream with the few of us, you know, that there are, we'd be spread out across different time zones and maybe one person or two people would show up. So instead of doing live streams right now, I'm taking questions and then just filming a video and answering all those questions. But eventually I will be doing patron-only live streams as well. On Sunday, also I want to film another plan with me. I love these videos. And I want to upload this printable set to Patreon. Patreon, that is. I know there's more than this. I know that there is. So some of my habits are taking my vitamins. And I want to meditate. I'm trying to get back into that. You know, writing would be a really good habit, you know, for a writer and such. So maybe I'll try to do that too. There's some habits. I really, really love how this is turning out. Also, I'm gonna put little circles next to clean bathroom and this water plants thing, just to remind me that no, they're not just cute stickers. You actually have to do those things. Also, I want to write on Tuesday for sure, and definitely on Thursday as well. Oh, I need to pay my cover design invoice. They did such a great job. I'm really, really, really happy with both of the covers they've made for me. So I need to do that. What else? I should probably email Erin. I'm gonna leave a note here as well. There's a note to myself, what I wanna do. Let's see. I love this spread, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Sweet. Oh, psh. I need to clean the carpet in my office. I still have not done that, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then something else is to, oh gosh, I just think of all these little things that we need to do. My hair is everywhere, why? Get off of there. Need to pay Ken, what else? What else, what else, what else? I'm pretty happy with that actually. I don't know what else I need to do. Let me go check on my pet sitting real quick. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so I know that, all right, so I have pet sitting on this day. And also, I know that my dad's birthday's coming up. So I'm gonna make a note of that because guess what? I am terrible at birthdays. I always forget them. I'm terrible with dates and numbers in general, so I'm gonna make a note to myself. Just a YouTube video. So here I know I'm not being very chatty. I'm just trying to think about all the things that I need to do this week. This might be one of my favorite spreads I have ever, ever done. Like, I really love how this is turning out, really. Here it is. I feel like my calligraphy is getting a little bit better, or penmanship, or whatever you wanna call it. Alrighty. This, my friends, I am pretty, pretty happy with. Maybe I could put some washi on here real fast. Give it a, just a little bit more, a little more something something. So if you guys got it all the way through this video, I really appreciate that. I know that this style of video is not for everyone, that is for sure. But I love videos like this. Like, especially if it's done by somebody that I'm curious about or interested in, then I love just like kind of listening to them talk and plan and it's really enjoyable to me. So I do hope that it's enjoyable for some of you as well. Oh, oh, here's, here's something I wanna remember. Greg and I are trying to not eat out this week. 
trying to save money because we go out to eat at like our favorite vegan restaurants kind of a lot. There's one that's only about five minutes from the house. It's a teeny tiny little family owned vegan uh, cafe bakery. Oh, their pies are amazing. But we go there for breakfast probably three times a week. Okay, I made myself a little note. No eating out. I need to remember that because I like, I just always in the mornings now want to go and get their like breakfast burrito scrambles with a piece of pie. And I need to not do that this week because we got groceries. All right. Oh, I need to pay my cell phone. Pay phone bill. Okay. There, well, there we have it. I think that's pretty great. Oh, it's so fun to layer stickers like this. Oh my goodness. All righty. Well, there it is. There it is, my friends. I messed up a lot. I printed my stickers on the wrong side of my sticker paper. So in the end, they weren't stickers at all. But I have my weekly reflection for this past week. I have a new daily doodles. That's what I need to add to every day is to doodle because that's been helping me remember when I have to cross it off a to-do list. Friday looks quiet, but I'm pretty sure I have pet care that day. I'm pretty darn sure. Okay, I added my doodling to every day. But here you have it, my friends. After an hour and a half of filming, which I will definitely cut down during editing, I have my spread, which I am really, really happy with. I think it turned out beautifully. I absolutely love these printables. Next time I will print them on the correct side of the sticker paper. I swear, I'm not messing up again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I swear I will have a writing video up soon. I'm guessing that my next writing video, instead of a vlog like I thought it was gonna be, it's probably gonna be a tea time once I finish my first draft to let you know my feelings going into my first read through and my first edits. Um, and I'll just talk about all that in that tea time. So that'll be coming up. I'll have a patron only Q and A coming up and we'll see what else I'm trying. I am trying so hard to get Greg to film the significant others writing tag that Bethany Atizada started with her husband. And I want him to film it with me, but I'm working at it. I think he's a little nervous in front of the camera still, but we're working at it. So hopefully that'll be coming up too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you, you in my next video. Bye everybody.